if we move into core and cal licensing i want to bring this together in the by discussing windows server and system center and these generally are not the same thing and um, but they're often tied together and they're often um, sold together as well so if you look at what the license in the core and cal licensing um, section you uh, have core licenses that are available for windows server data center and windows server standard there's core licenses available for system center data center and system center standard and there's something called the core infrastructure suite or sys which are a combination of windows server and system center and you have these also in the data center and standard flavors um, these are all the products that you want to have to license and manage your windows server estate um, both windows server and system center do have prior version rights so if you buy a single license of windows server 2019 you're able to use windows server 2016. then you have the client access licenses these are um, the licenses that you assign to devices or users to be able to access a server environment and you have these in uh, in this section you have these in three different flavors you have the standard windows server client access license and you need to buy the correct version of the client access license for your environment meaning if you have a windows server 2019 environment you cannot access that with a windows server 2016 client access license you need a windows server 2019 client access license you have additional licenses for uh, client access that you can buy um, for uh, instance for uh, remote desktop services this is for session virtualization and you have the rights management services client access license which is for additional security uh, features windows server does require you if you have external users accessing a server to license that server with an external connector license um, and you have these also for RDS and uh, RMS. So again, a little bit more on client access licensing, because for some of you, a client access license might be a new term. Um, a client access license is what it says, the ability for a client, either a user or a device to access a server environment. So in this um, part around core and cal licensing you need to do two things to be licensed correctly you buy the amount of core licenses that you need and we go into that in uh, the coming slides and you need to buy the amount of access licenses for your clients either user based or um, device based it's nothing more than the right for a client to access a server environment. You can mix user and device calls, um, meaning if you have devices uh, that you share with many users, it might make more sense to buy device calls for that. And if you have a lot of users using multiple devices, it might always make sense to buy user calls. If you have these different types in your organization, it might make sense to buy both of these. Um, user calls are usually a bit more expensive than device calls because they, as Microsoft states, hold more value. So if I have a laptop, a telephone, a tablet, uh, another device that I use to access my, uh, my email somewhere, um, then it might make sense to buy a user cal for all the devices that i have um, and as such it holds more value so typically a user cal is 1.5 times the price of a device cal so summary licensing core and cal basics purchase the amount of core licenses for each server running a windows server environment and purchase user and or device cals for any devices and or users accessing these server environments <clears throat> 